Comical ratings pour in for Saints game week after week. The ratings often reach Super Bowl type numbers. And with details on this phenomenon, which does not happen everywhere, is Mike Scott with NOLA.com, the Times Picking You. Every week. Yeah, there are a lot of things that don't happen everywhere, but, <laughs> but this is one of the most interesting ones. You know, people, when you talk about historically high ratings, you talk about the final episode of MASH or the Who Shot JR episode of Dallas Roots. You got to put the 2018 Saints on there, at least in New it's, Orleans. It's now. crazy. So here is a, we'll show up a list for you of the top ratings by market right. for the in, inside the market itself. New Orleans number one, then Kansas City. They're having a good year. Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh always is a big market. Milwaukee, and then Minneapolis, St. Paul. Those are the top five. What's interesting though is that normally about half of the country, or a little over that, tunes in for a Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. The numbers for the Thursday night game you were mentioning. Yeah, this, uh, it, we had uh, last Super Bowl in February it, in New Orleans that got a 53 rating. The, the Panthers game got a 59.8 rating in New 59, Orleans. 59, which means. So it's better, better than Super Bowl numbers. Which means that 59% of all the TVs, whether they're on or not, the whole universe of televisions, 59% of them were tuned in to the Saints game, <laughs> higher than Super Bowl numbers for the country. Right, and that, that doesn't take into <laughs> account folks who are watching at a friend's house or in a bar or, or and I, I want to know what everybody else is watching. Well, <laughs> here, if you want to see some New Orleans pride, we'll bring up some New Orleans for the NFC South. Again, 46.7% of all the TVs, whether they're on or off is how you measure this. So 46% are tuned in to New Orleans, more than double Charlotte, almost three times Tampa and look at that uh, that pathetic Atlanta number. It's just one more thing we're better than Atlanta. Well, at, right? you pointed out the the Atlanta debut this year. Right, yeah, the NFL kickoff this this season, the first game of the season, as always was the the, the defending Super Bowl champions, the Eagles, and they happened to play Atlanta this year. Right. Uh, the ratings in that game in New Orleans was it was a 24.6, not particularly eye-popping, but it was better than the ratings in Atlanta. They, Atlanta was the number three market. They got a paltry 19 point something rating. And you know, I don't, I don't want to throw a bunch of numbers at people early in the morning, but think about this. New Orleans is the number one market for Thursday Night Football on Fox. And that's if you take out the New Orleans game with Dallas. Right. You don't even have to count it, and it's that, the number that one game, market. That game ended up setting a record for the most, uh, the highest rated Thursday Night game in the history of NFL Thursday night games in New Orleans, if I believe it got a 58.5 rating. Again, better than Super Bowl ratings. All right, Mr. TV critic, how do you explain this? The Saints are awesome. <laughs> what else needs to be said? No, there was a lot of anticipation going into this season. We're, we're already a very passionate, rabid Saint City. But after the way last season ended in particular, it, you know, there was so much promise, and then it ended on such, a, on such a sour note. People were ready. People were excited about this season. And that's why I think that's why you saw it from the very, before the very beginning in that Atlanta-Philadelphia game. Right, and you know, you look at, like, the Los Angeles uh, numbers are not great for, the, for some of those teams this year. There's a lot to do in L.A., for example. But I, and the Giants' numbers are not good this year especially. But I think what's interesting is this phenomenon happens, maybe not number one, but if the Saints have a bad season, yeah, the, they, it, people still watch. People still show up at the airport to welcome them home, even <laughs> when they lose. It's, it's, it, this city is a passionate city. Which is another thing that doesn't happen in other no, cities. It All right, Mike Scott with NOLA.com. My pleasure. Thanks so much. 747, here's Shelly.